make some noise for the very funny Leroy! Yeah, fuck yeah, what's up? How we doing? I know you're not gonna like to hear this, but if Biden doesn't cancel some student debt or give me some reparations, I'm voting for Trump like a motherfucker, dog. I have me in a red hat and everything, bitch. That nigga fucking up, man. I got two stimulus checks from Trump. <laughs> he giving money to everybody but me. What's happening? All right, that's enough of that. How you guys doing? Good looking. Look at you guys. Oh, man. I see your faces and stuff. This is great. I teach yoga. I teach yoga. Yeah, it confuses people because I look like I teach yoga like I'm mad at it, you know? I get it, you know? It also confuses yogis when they see me, you know? When they see me for the first time, they, it confuses them. And, uh, you know, I had this one student in class, and she was like, she just couldn't wrap her mind around it, you know? She was like, what's happening, you know? And then after class, she gave me this compliment. She said, you know, you are the perfect balance of masculine and feminine energy. And I was like, man, that's a clever way to say, are you gay? Is that what it is? Are you, are you gay? That must be. I think that's it. Uh, now it makes sense to me. Uh, yeah. I like that compliment, though. I'm trying to balance my shit. I balance my chakras. You know what I'm saying? Uh, anybody else? All the white women. Let's go. Let's go. White women in the house say, hey. That's right. I love you, white girls, man. I love you, white girls. White dudes, they, they say the weirdest shit to me when they find out that I teach yoga. This white guy was like, Leon, you teach yoga. I bet you could suck your own dick. That's what he said. I bet I could suck my own dick. Let me start by saying that's a white thought, okay? It's <laughs> a white thought. It's a white thought. Never in all of history has a nigga thought, you know, I bet I could. I bet. Never, ever. Why would we? When all these white girls out here. <laughs> Giving us our reparations, nigga. Don't, don't be mad at it. We earned it. We earned it. That's right. White dudes, make some noise. You know what I'm saying? Now, white dudes that think they should have the right to say the N-word, make some noise. Lying ass white people in this motherfucker, dog. Y'all lying. Joe Rogan started this uh, movement. Y'all trying to get the right to say the N-word, man. Listen, if you're a white dude and you want to say the N-word, you say the N-word, nigga. You say it. You just say it in safe places. We know you say it. Which is really crazy to me that there's this movement going on because it's not... You're not trying to get the right to say the word. You're trying to get the right to say the word in public, like Mexicans, you know? You ever see a white guy hear a Mexican say nigga? They're like, what? Why does he get to, uh? It's a mix between jealousy and confusion. It's just like, what? I'm shocked, but can, uh? Joe Rogan also said, uh, black, he compared black people to apes, which is crazy to me because he has the head of a silverback gorilla, motherfucker. <laughs> the identical head of a silverback gorilla. Comparing, what? You crazy, man. You ain't looking in the mirror in a day or what? This is crazy. Anybody got kids in here? She raised her hand. She couldn't even clap. She was like, yeah. Yeah, I got him. You know, people in L.A. don't have kids because I think people say, you know, they say that having kids ages you. Not if you don't give a fuck about them. It doesn't age you at all. 
Deadbeat dad energy is like big dick energy on steroids, dog. Every deadbeat dad you know, just thriving, living his best life, getting younger. Look at Future, man. Every time Future gets an Instagram model pregnant, he levels up, drops an album, another 100 million in the bank account. I'm like, God damn. I missed out on that deadbeat dad energy. I, I like my little dirty ass kid, man. He's a good guy. He's just turned 13 on Sunday. Yeah, just turned 13. He's a teenager, man. This is crazy. Because I'm still young in, in these streets. You know what I'm saying? I'm still. Never mind. Um, someone asked me, they're like, Leon, did you, do you beat your kid? Do you beat your son? It's not about beating your kids. It's about creating the illusion that you'll beat the fuck out of them any time of the day. That, it's the illusion. Sometimes I put notes in his lunchbox, I'll fuck your bitch ass up. Do something stupid today. That's how he eats his peanut butter and jelly, with fear on his heart. That's a good dad, motherfucker. It's a good dad. It's a good dad. Right here, man. Look at this. You right here. We could do that. Yeah. We could do that. Now we all got COVID. You, know? <laughs> you fucked up. You you thought twice. He was like, nope. And then he just did it. He was like, I'm going to lose my black heart if I don't. So I got to. For us, light skin motherfuckers, it's, it's easy to lose a black card, man. It's easy. Those things just slip away, come back, slip away. I don't know if anybody realizes this, but in March, black Twitter said that biracial black people are no longer allowed to be called black. They have to be called mixed. Black Twitter said that. Nigga, imagine Obama finding out he can't be black. <laughs> during Black History Month. Goddamn, Black Twitter, you are vicious. Man, it just slip away. Lost all the white people. That was just for us. Uh, that was just for us. I need, I gotta do something for us. Light skin niggas out here. You know what I'm saying? Let's go. What else I wanna talk to y'all about? I'm married. Anybody married in here? I'm coming up on 10 years of marriage. 10 years in July. Yeah, 10 years. My friends ask me, man, how you stay married? Well, I cheat, nigga. That's how I do it. That's how I do it. That's how you do it. No, I'm kidding. I don't cheat. I don't cheat. But I do got cheater energy. I'm aware of it. I look like I cheat on everybody around me. My barber accused me of cheating. I was like, nigga, I'm bald. I could do this shit myself. Goddamn. I'm not cheating on you. I'm saving money, stupid. Get out of here. These gas prices, what are you talking about? $40 to get your beard lined up. These barbers are crazy. Absolutely wild. Yeah, uh, uh, clap it up for all the gay shit happening right now. Uh, pride and stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Men out here getting married. I don't know why you would do that, but uh, they get married. I'm married to a woman, but, you know, I, I respect that, that men are getting married. Uh, I imagine if I uh, got married to a dude, I'd be a lot happier, you know? I just imagine I would be a lot happier. I love my wife. I love my life. Uh, when, when you ask me what makes a marriage last, friendship. That's it. Friendship. Me and my wife were best friends. Me and my boys, better fucking friends, goddamn. <laughs> better friends. Better friends. I get to be me with my boys. I get to be all of me. I don't have to change nothing. I get to stay the same. You know what I had to change to live with this woman for 10 years? Every goddamn thing. Everything. I sleep in my wife's bedroom. That's not my room. Ain't shit in that room mine. That's not my room. That's her room. I sleep in my wife's bedroom. I remember the day I fully got my shit out of the room. I remember the day. I was tired of going to bed and waking up in trouble. You know what I'm saying? Like something, you know? We have this big ass closet 
And every day, I'm putting shit in the wrong places. And I just was fed the fuck up, y'all. I was fed up. I was like, I'm getting this shit out of here. I took all my shit to my garage. And my wife was like, no, I didn't need to. I was like, we arguing right now. I'm mad, but you're going to thank me later, bitch. Get out of my way. And I took my shit to the garage. And now that's her room. I spend the night every now and then. You know what I'm saying? Every now and then, I spend the night. All right, that's been my time. Leroy.